Hi everybody, if you've done any research on reef lighting, you probably already know that you're supposed to mount your reef lights anywhere from 8 to 20 inches above the water line. Obviously I have not done that here with my pair of Viper Spectre black boxes on my 90 gallon tank. Now the reason why is because I want them to fit in this low profile canopy, but by doing so you can see already that I've got some shaded regions going on here in the tank. Now the water is kind of cloudy right now because I just added some purple up Coraline booster and that really provides a good opportunity to see the light spread here. Let's investigate this a little bit more closely. Again you can see that there's that shadowed area in the upper right, the middle top, and the upper left. This is a 90 gallon tank, it's 48 inches wide, 24 inches top to bottom and 18 inches front to back. Here's the view from the side. So this look isn't particularly problematic. You do have to be careful about where you're going to place your coral if you don't make any modifications to your lights and if you have them set this close to the water. But um, I've got a couple possible solutions that I'm going to try to work out here. First of all, I'm going to remove the lenses from my Viper Spectras. I believe they come with like 90 degree lenses. And um, I've read on some forums that if you remove the lenses, then you get a bit wider light spread. So I'm going to try that first. If that doesn't work, I also ordered a set of 120 degree lenses. I'm going to pop those in and see if that achieves the look I'm going for. If that doesn't work, then really my only option is to leave it as is or to modify the canopy to raise the canopy up. Or I suppose just do entirely away with the canopy setup and go to like a, a hanging system or some pendants or something like that. But uh, Right now, I really want to try to keep everything contained within my canopy. I like this look, so stick around, check so out my in the next first part of this video, I showed how I had my Viper Spectres mounted really close to the water line, and I was getting some shaded regions in the upper right, middle top, and upper left portion of the tank. And I talked about how I was going to try some different lens setups. Now, if you haven't seen this light, there's a large array of LED lights and they each have their own lens and i believe stock from the factory i think these come with 90 degree lenses i've read on a forum that if you remove these lenses and just run them without a lens then you can get a bit better spread um, i've also ordered these 120 degree lenses so if going lensless doesn't give me the spread of light that i'm hoping for then i'm gonna try these 120 degree lenses so in this video we're gonna go ahead and take apart this this uh, lighting system and see how difficult it is to you know replace these lenses so let's get to work here
All right, now I've removed all of the lenses from both of the Viper Spectra units, and you can see that the light spread is a bit better. The shadow is not quite as strong where they once were. Um, there's still a little bit of a shadow region, but it's not nearly as bad. Now the question is, what is it going to look like if I put the 120 degree lenses in? Let's check that out next. So I ran into a problem as soon as I started to try to install the 120 degree lenses on the existing array. I purchased these uh, black bezels and the lenses and, and they, they come separately. So you take, the, uh, you take the lens, it pops into the bezel like that, and then the bezel is supposed to pop right onto the LED. The trouble is, is that these black bezels, they just, they don't really fit very securely. They tend to just like, like fall off. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to pop out all of the lenses from the original bezels and pop in the 120 degree lenses. And there's 55 on each of them. So let's get busy. All right, at this point, I removed all of the old 90 degree lenses from the white bezels that came with the Viper Spectra, and I've got these new 120 degree lenses, so I have to go ahead and pop these in. There's 55 of them to go. I found that the best way to get the lenses into the bezel is just to make sure the bezel is sitting flat on the surface of your workbench, place the lens directly on top, and then just firmly press straight down and it will snap right into place. Now I also discovered that once the 120 degree lenses are snapped into the original bezels, they do not come out. No matter how hard I push, they are just locked in there. Now these four, these are 120 degree lenses, the new ones that I'm retrofitting. These here are actually the original 90 degree lenses in the bezels and these will pop out. They'll go in, and it'll pop out super easy. That is not the case with the 120 degree lenses that I've got linked down below in the description. So just be aware of that, that you probably won't be able to get them back out. Now I have the new lenses snapped into the original bezels and it's time to start mounting them back on the LED panel. So if all goes well, these should just snap right into place. It's pretty good like that. Now, as I was loading these lenses into the original bezels, I did have one or two that didn't fit, so be sure to purchase a few extras if you're trying to do this project. And these just fit by friction. You just push them down on top of the LED. Um, these little cutouts here, those need to go horizontally, like, like this way, so that they don't... Uh, so that they leave space for these little um, soldering points here. So just like, just like that. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and just reassemble everything following the same steps as you've seen previously. All right, everybody, what we have here, this side has the 120 degree lenses installed. This side has all of the lenses removed no lenses whatsoever and I don't know how easy it is for you to see the difference but to me it's pretty clear that the side with no lenses gives you the widest light spread so if that's what you're looking for remove all the lenses nice thing about that is that it's also a lot less work than having to pop in all of those 120 degree lenses that was kind of a tedious project now to me it looks like the 120s are creating a beam that are really not much different from the original 90 degree lenses. Look at the shaded region up here. It's really not much different from how it was originally, the difference, but um, yeah, to me, it looks like going lensless is going to be the best solution, at least for my tank. Obviously, if your lights are a bit higher above the water, you may not want to go lensless because that might actually be too wide of a spread for you, but take a look. 120 degree lenses, no lenses. 
right, well, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like it, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you back here another time on Go Hobby.